Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 103, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And if you remember from the last go-round, we finished up at the Sith Academy on Korriban. Um, I, I did go back in between live streams just to kind of double-check and, and make sure that I had a couple of things right, and... They kept the same layout between the two games for the main valley of the Sith Lords. The temples are in the same place. You're landing in a different spot, but this is where you did the emergency exit, so... You know, that's not surprising. Uh, there, there's a couple of structures that are not here this second time through, which kind of makes sense since everything seems to be destroyed and in disarray and all that. Uh, the academy layout is actually the same. And some of the other stuff that I hope to get to in the very near future will will also be the same, like the the, cave, the ominous cave that we're going to enter in. It wasn't so ominous the, the last time around. So we'll, we'll see what's different in a little bit. But first, we need to finish off this last wing of the Sith Academy. So if you're looking at the map there, you'll see that off to the east, uh, vaguely in the direction my character is pointing, there's one last wing to explore. So we will have to take our intrepid trio and uh, see what is down that way. Um, I get a pretty good idea, but uh, oh, and just as a reminder, I'm not allowed to change party members at this point in time because the temple is locked and that's the way life goes sometimes. So let's, uh, oh yeah, that's right. You had nothing. I've been complaining about these guys' loot ever since I came in here. These are thoroughly unlooted Sith Lord. Oh, that's right. That's what I wanted to check. Um, oh, there we go. Find the right button eventually. All right, so I've got the bio antidote system that makes me immune from poison. Uh, he is a droid that makes him immune from poison. And I can't, he's got the strength package, stealth field. I th I hope he's got something that makes him immune to poison. Uh, if not, let me check, uh, let me check powers. Because I thought the master heal did something like that too. Okay, poison is neutralized. So, he won't be immune, but, um... I can fix them back up real quick as we get through there. Although, honestly, once that last one goes, does it start back at the beginning again? Or. Alright, run! Ah! Feels like poison. No, it feels like poison. Thank you, Master of the Obvious. And you are most definitely. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, let's hit him with a stasis field and a few flurries. Uh, I should probably also toss out a force wave here too. Can I knock out a couple of them? Come on, knock out a couple of oh 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 oh. oh, oh. Uh, somebody is hurting. This won't take long. Okay. Everybody good? Almost. Dude, what happened there? Usually your uh, armor is a little bit better than that. All right. Well, that happened. Hmm. And there goes the uh, poison again. All right. I really need to find him some anti-poison gear and get it, actually. On the off chance. I don't... I don't think I have another biotech implant, but that... That only bumps his strength by one. What is his strength? Fifteen. Alright, so dropping it down to fourteen isn't going to change anything. So let's go... Um... Nope, that's just regen. Fort and strength. Gone. Persuade. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. I thought I had something that would have helped him. Although. 
If he's got just the strength plus one, getting him strength plus two would be very nice. Okay. All right, not a total waste, but uh, all right, nothing there that's going to give him immunity. Nothing there that's going to give him immunity. Uh, what does that immunity belt do? Oh, never mind. All right, I, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. He lived. A any mission you can walk away from is a good one, right? Isn't that how that goes? By the by. Seriously. Sith, equip your people. I want loot. Well, this doesn't look all sorts of wrong. I'm starving. Hmm. I... This Tuakta looks hungry. Its cage is closed securely. You cannot see a way to open it from here. Sorry, suddenly I was teleported back to the old text adventures I played way back in the day. I Don't worry, I'm not going to go that far back for games revisited. Because there is nothing, nothing streamable about a, uh, a text adventure. Alright. Unlootable skeletons and other fun stuff, so let's see... Uh, what system commands do we have access to? Disable this terminal. Resetting. Nope. Okay. Let's, uh, let's begin the training sequence then. Error. Level 2 training sequence corrupted. Resolving. Resolved. Level 6. <laughs> Oops. No wonder why there's no Sith left. <laughs> Uh, we can't load the level 2 training sequence, so uh, here's level 16. Yikes. Alright, let's uh, force wave. Oh, no, no, no. Let's, uh, let's, get, uh, let's get everybody some uh, valor and speed. And then get in another attack. Then try to get a battle meditation in. Everybody's, everybody's doing better. All right, let's get the heal queued up. All right, let's do this. Uh, why do I feel like I didn't get one of the powers off that I meant to? But that could be okay. Because... Yep. They all did. Oh. He's not lootable? What about him? He's not lootable. There's nothing hiding behind here. I probably should have checked that the first time. The 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 special effect for speed always makes me feel a little like do I is the contact in wrong? Alright. So nothing here but a locked door. Mm. Training complete. Processing results. Failed. Time elapsed. Wait a second. How fast was I supposed to kill those guys? Unacceptable performance for a level 16 student. Report to detention room for disciplinary action. Are you kidding me? No, at least I've got the door open. Oh, and it opened that other door that I was looking at. Nice. XP and a journal entry. <laughs> You've escaped the training room and gained access to the detention room. T3, shut down all trash compactors at the detention level. No. I, I don't think that's going to happen this go-around. I don't think the Sith have trash compactors in the detention level. And T3 can't do Jack because he's stuck on the ship. Alright, uh, you know what? Before I enter the detention room at the Sith Academy for having not killed those beasties fast enough for a level 16 uh, training simulation, let me go ahead and save the game because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like what Sith detention is. I'm pretty sure it's not just seeing the principal. Uh, oh! 
Well, this doesn't look good. This body has been dead no more than an hour. Mr. Lana Vash died, di lies dead before you. Um, well, that was the Jedi Master I was here for. Uh, <laughs> Vash, she was a member of the Jedi Council. I might have killed her myself. She was one of those responsible for my exile. That way lies the dark side. Uh, Vash was one of the members of the Jedi Council. Quickest to reject me. I honestly don't remember from the the playback. That's been a little while. I mean, it could have been yesterday, and I still probably wouldn't have remembered. Memory. How does it work? I don't remember. All right, let's go with uh, she was a member of the Jedi Council. Because this is a shame. All right, journal entry, XP at... Oh, I got XP for walking in and finding a dead body. Um, that... That seems something. Although I've watched enough Among Us replays to know that missing dead body is a thing, so, you know, maybe the presciently this game made many, many years before Among Us was ever made uh, realize that finding dead bodies is hard and is going to reward you with 500 XP for triggering the automatic finding of the dead body. Okay. Uh, you've encountered the remains of Master Vash on Korriban. It looks like she was held there as bait by the Sith. Well, if you remember, one of the questions everybody was asking was, what was a Jedi Master doing on Korriban? We now know she was there as bait. This, uh, this can't be good. What do we have here? All right, before I go interacting with any computer panels, let's see. Um... Datapad, Lana Vash. This is the journal of Master Lana Vash. I found the Sith that I came to Korriban looking for. I am no fool, but I fell neatly into their trap. Their leader, Darth Sion, is a preservation of the dark side such that I have not seen before. Though he was cunning enough to capture me, he seems otherwise to be a volatile brute and therefore should be easily coerced. If I keep my wits about me, I have no doubt I will escape the situation. Before I was captured, I managed to create a system account under my name on the console in the room here that will allow me to open the door back to the valley. I, I didn't know Vash had a deep voice like that. Journal entry added. Items received. Double-bladed lightsaber. Always nice. Um, here's the question. What kind of equipment is in said double-bladed lightsaber? Oh, it's just the raw lightsaber. Okay. Well, that's good to know, too, because uh, they're, they're, all, they're all different. Um, I really want to put orange in mine. If you've seen my website and you've seen my branding such as it is, you'll know why. Look, there, there seems to be a lot of really useful stuff there. I should totally be able to liberate it. I guess not. And here's a locker. You're telling me that there's nothing in the locker? Okay. Let's, uh, all right. Sith Academy Detention Room Terminal. Enter the command. Access system commands. Root authorization required. Enter. Lanavash. Systems access granted. Hacking of the highest order. Doing what somebody else did. Okay. Let's uh, open the front door. Okay. Go back. Schedule disciplinary action. I... No. Nope. Only bad things can come of that. Alright. Um... Going this way should be easier. 
because we should be able to pass. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, I see some dark and shadowy forms up ahead. I'm pretty sure I. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? How did you? <sighs> Fine. Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. It is fitting you came here. Uh, dude, you look like I the Walking Dead. I you and found nothing but weakness. Yet still she clutches at you, as if you are all that gives her life. Um. Okay. So we get a few options. How do you know Korea? Good question. What do you want with her? Also a good question. What does Korea want with me? That has been a question that's been nagging us for a while. Enough words. Let's end this. That's not how you get information. And I have a funny feeling that all paths lead to that, no matter what. If you're here for a battle, let's get on with it. Again, I think all paths lead there eventually. So let's see what information we can get first with how do you know Korea? I know her as an apprentice knows their master, and as a master knows an apprentice. Uh, what do you want with her? I want her to die and see all that she has built cast down, all that she holds dear. Well, in if I wasn't sure you were a Sith before, feet. I am now. Uh, <laughs> if you want revenge on her, don't let me stand in your way. That is tempting. All right, uh, let's uh What does Korea want with me? Or do we need... Yeah, let's respond first. I will not let you harm her. But you do not know her as I do. Oh, really? You have not survived her teachings as I have. Dude, you don't you look like you survived. her in battle as I have. Oh. You are nothing. Yet still she walks with you. Is willing to sacrifice herself for you. I have studied you. I know the paths you walked in exile. I know your teacher. I know the fires that raged um. upon the ducks and moon while the Republic died around you. You know war. You know battle. <laughs> and I know of Malachor. You saw the heart of war, what Malachor wrought. Yet you turned away from it. Yep. You are a wretched thing. That is you. Thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice in name only. I am the master. And that is why you will die. Nah. Alright, first things first. Let's hit a force wave. Now, odds are that force wave really isn't going to do anything. I would like to hope it would, but I don't think it will. Only because, remember, we're light side attuned. So that means we get a minus to all our saves, and they get a bonus to all their saves. And I don't think we're high enough level to, to overcome that. I definitely want to get a master heal on, and a speed boost, and then I need to get on the offensive. Alright. You're gonna... Alright, let's get a battle meditation. And another heal. And then we'll get back to the... Because I think Barrador is gonna need that heal soon. And everybody is gonna need the bonus that comes from... Sion. <sighs> he cannot be defeated. He is not a beast of flesh and blood. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. Run, you fools. Is that what I heard? Alright, uh, <laughs> now you tell me. Anything else you want to share? Thanks for the information. Nah, I w won't run from that corpse. Nah, let's go. Thanks for the information. There will be another time, but it is not now. Not here, hm. while Korriban runs through him. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, besides the fact that we're going to beat feet and... I was hoping to get She it. protects him, shields him. Find him, hunt him wherever he travels. He will not escape me again. Hmm. I will bring his corpse to her, 
cast it at her feet. It will be as if killing her children. Oh. I will kill all she protects, all she shields. Yikes. Until her hands are drenched in blood. Well, isn't he pleasant? I do believe we're clear of the academy. Huh. And fully healed up. Isn't that nice? Good. That means that we can make our way back just a little bit. And around this corner. Should be... The ominous caves that I was warned about. Give me the clicky thing. Yes, or yes. I said clicky thing. All right. I think this is going to be a good point to save. Because we're about to enter into the caves. And, uh,. If you're watching this on the live stream, hang tight. We will obviously be entering the caves in just a couple minutes. If you're watching this on YouTube, I guess you're going to have to wait until the next episode publishes. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.